Today we're going to be reviewing the active surge suppressor. To do that, we've set up a simulated paint circulation system using the eFlow DC. We're going to start by talking a little bit about the installation of the active surge suppressor. As you can see, we've got it mounted on this table here, and it has to be mounted vertical. You can invert it, so this is on the bottom, but it has to be vertical. If you invert it, you need to make sure your breather valve is turned around. You have to have the top of the breather valve up. All right, in addition, we've also got our grounding wires, and we've also added a minimum of a quarter inch ID air supply line to the active side of the surge suppressor. We have an eFlow DC setup running about eight cycles a minute, producing about four gallons per minute. I've started with running the fluid through my active surge suppressor, but I do not have any air charge on the air side of this suppressor. So as you can see, the result is, as the pump goes through a changeover, we produce a fairly large pulsation. For traditional surge suppressors to operate properly, you have to air charge the air side of the diaphragm to two thirds of the fluid pressure. So because this one's working at 150 PSI fluid pressure, we've charged the air side to about 100 PSI. Okay, so now we have the traditional surge suppressor working and managing the pulsation on changeover. But now we're gonna simulate what happens when something in the system changes a viscosity increase, uh, driving the pressure up, or just a pressure increase. So we're gonna go to 200 PSI, and because we didn't manually change the air charge on the traditional surge suppressor, we're now working outside of its peak performance. And it's going to continue to work like this unless somebody comes in and increases the air charge to the air side of the traditional surge suppressor. Okay, now we've gone back to the active surge suppressor. We're also back to our original pressure of 150 PSI. I have not added air to the active surge suppressor yet, and I'm gonna do that in a minute. But before I do, we're gonna add an air pressure gauge to the air side so we can monitor how the air side works with the fluid side. Okay, so now I've got the gauge added, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the air supply on. So the active surge suppressor has a three to one ratio. As the pressure increases, it's going to allow air into the air side of the tank until it balances out the pressure to absorb the pulsation. Next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna change the pressure back to the 200 PSI so you can see what happens to the active side of the surge suppressor as it responds to that pressure change. So as you can see, as the pressure increased, my air charge also increased, and now again we're working in an active surge suppressor mode. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna show when we add a second pump or go to the times two eFlow DC. Okay, so we've added the second pump in, and as you can see, when one pump is going through a pump changeover, the second pump is at its mid-stroke. The idea is, while one pump is at its worst performance, the other pump is at its best performance, and it helps minimize pulsation. So now you can see we have the best control of the fluid in our paint circulation system. So once again, we're going to go ahead and show a pressure change in how the active surge suppressor responds. We'll drop it back down to 150 PSI.
During normal operation of the active surge suppressor, there is an air charge on the air side of the suppressor. However, there's no air being consumed during normal operations. If my fluid pressure increases, we add air to the air tank, and if the fluid pressure decreases, we vent air from the air side. However, the consumption is very minimal. We're gonna demonstrate that by shutting the system off, and then you'll see the pressure decompress within the air side. Okay, so that's the demonstration of the active surge suppressor on a paint circulation system. For more information on this product and many others, visit www.graco.com.